So that, that was the first night. That was the first night. The second night was somewhat the same thing. And by the second night, I couldn't walk. I couldn't move. Every muscle in my body mm -hmm. was, was whatever. And I said, Jill, I love you very much, but you're going mm -hmm. on your own. Well, and she finished the... And she, I, I, had, I had to finish the course. <laughs> I had to finish it because I promised my friend Sam Lewis that I would uh, do the job. Okay, so that's the preamble to this story. That's okay? the preamble. Okay. So the, re the rest of it is... is... I'll tell the rest of it. Oh. <laughs> the rest of it, we go out to the... I had to go out to the Lido pool for my final lifeguard test. Right. Yeah, the guy jumped on you. You already told her. The guy choked on me? Jumped on you. Jumped. Oh, well, yeah, but that's the... Out of the Lido pool used to be a lifeguard named Pee Wee. Now you probably don't remember this, but Pee Wee, Pee -wee helped me learn how to swim and mm. stuff at, at that Lido pool. Mm. Okay, so I came in, I saw Pee Wee, and I went over. Of course, I only saw him when I was a little girl. I said, Pee Wee! Of course, I was taller than he was at this point. <laughs> and I hugged him, and he said, what are you doing here? And I said, I have to be, you know, save this guy. He's a 250-pound fireman. To get this license, because I'm, you know, going to have to be a lifeguard. And he took me aside. He says, okay, I'm going to show you what you're going to do. When you get him on top of the water, and he's lying on the back, you're going to put your four fingers together in your right arm. And when you cross arm him, you're gonna take those four fingers and you're gonna jam it in his armpit because it's gonna temporarily paralyze him. <laughs> because they've been instructed to fight like shit. You know, because they're only gonna take the ones who can do what they need to do, okay? And once you do that, you'll be able to get him over to the side of the pool and then you won't have a problem. I said, okay. All right, so it's my turn to jump in the water and go save the 250-pound fireman. So I get there, and he's thrashing and blah, 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 and I start to go and take my hand across body him. He says, don't do it. I saw a peewee. I know what you're going to do. Don't do it. Just cross-arm me, and I'll stop struggling. I said, okay. And he did. <laughs> and then I, yeah, and I got him to the side of the pool and got him up and I passed the course. But the guy who was training us was a, his, his name was Jim. It was brutal. He was, was brutal. Just... He would have people jump on you while you were swimming laps. Yeah, it was. It, and you it, never knew. It was horrible. Yeah. You told me that. Yeah. That they, did, that they jumped on me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. A week later, I still couldn't walk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I knew I had promised my friend Sam Lewis I was going to take that job. I knew Navy SEAL was not one of the things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, that was a great story, Jelly. Well, that's what? my story, and I'm sticking to it. Why, uh, 